This conference will now be recorded. You see here what is that? Smart blocks. Postman, we have to add it to our application, Jyoti. You know Postman? Mm -hmm. No. We'll see that one also. You know Postman? Who delivers straw mills? I'm sorry? Delivers something, I was thinking. Delivers something? Yeah. Did you work on it? No. So then uh, we have a postman. Uh, we can configure it to Opera also. So that postman, we have to use it. Uh, 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 to if you want to give a restful calls, you need to work with the postman. Jyoti, we have so many starters see here. This is all when you are creating a project. The type of the project you have to select it, whether it is time leap. Or whether it is data couch base or whether it is starter artemis or whether it is web services or it is a boot server a boot starter mail or whether it is data redis or whether it is data jump fire there are many other things we don't need all these things we need some simple things spring boot starter jdbc spring boot starter test these are all general things spring boot starter jesse okay so this is for this is for you are working with the restful services. We need a jersey. Jersey is a restful web applications, which gives a Jax RS. It is used to build a restful web applications using Jax. But Jax we didn't use jersey yesterday, but we did web restful web application only, right? I'm sorry. We didn't use jersey yesterday. We didn't use Spring Boot Starter jersey for we restful. Need. But when you say web, you know, automatically, mm -hmm. when you say web, automatically those things will be getting. Spring Boot Starter Test, Spring Boot Starter Web. Each and everything he's talking about. But internally, uh, on top of it, uh, there are the, some files automatically you will get, will be getting. Let's see, Jackson we have. Jesse, we don't have anything. We are working with the Jackson. So if you are working with the Jesse, then you can, you have to add uh, explicitly that, uh, Thing or else you will be having an option to work with restful services. You can also add Spring Boot Starter Jersey. Okay. Mm -hmm. If I add it, nothing will happen. It will give additionally some set of uh, jar files. Make sense, Jyoti? Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Hello. So we are supposed to just maintain that. Spring Boot Starter Web Starter Jersey, you know. So this one will take, and we'll see what will happen. Spring Boot, but we need a Maven dependency. Actually, we should not add that is directly. We have to search for its dependency. That's a dependency. Yes. Okay, we have a boot only, you know. We'll we'll mm -hmm. copy and paste the same thing. This one I'm in. Let's say control S and let's see. Group ID should not be changed to start a jersey. Group ID? Ah, oh, that should be boot. That's it. Mm. That should be boot only. So let's see what it is going to do. Jackson, we have from the earlier only. Starter, job jar, spring boot, starter logging, we, are, we have already. And WebMVC, JSON, Jakarta. 
J unit JSON asset. Uh, I think it's building. Let's see. It's completing 49 percent. It's Mockto, mm Mockto -hmm. core. And I say web automatically, it is providing me some things. But traditionally, we have added JSON. It's an API. Uh, Java. It is an API for uh, Java. JaxRS. I'm sorry. JaxRS. There are two ways. One is JaxRS. That is, or else, uh, otherwise, uh, for Jersey. Jersey means JaxRX, and otherwise uh, Jackson. Two ways you can get it. One is you can use the API Jackson API. Otherwise, you can use the API Jax. Uh, sorry, what is that? Jersey. Are you getting it? Yes. So Jersey is an API to work with the to work with your uh, restful services. Okay. Mm -hmm. But uh, YouTube videos, whatever I've seen, they were just concentrating on the webpack and the starter pack. Webpack and the startup web starter packs. They were mostly concentrating on that. They hardly have two, three dependencies on the thing is running for them. No, no, no. We don't need it actually. This this one is not needed. Additionally, we are adding it. Okay. See yeah. here, Jersey. I got it now. This dependencies, if you want it, if you want to go with the Jersey, by default, if I work with the Spring by MVC, it automatically gives me REST based support for me. Jackson is already there, but I want to still, I want to use uh, uh, some other API to work with uh, my RESTful services. We have many APIs. One is Jack Saris and another is uh, this one, Najersi. Uh, there are many other things. Okay. So, why, but we are using by default restrict supports. Other than that, we need to add some other starters. So, that starter list only has given to us. Are you getting me? If required, you can go for that uh, starters. Additionally, see, I would like to go for JDBC. Unfortunately, I have created already the project. Now what I have to do, my project has okay, to support. Okay. You got me, right? Uh, yeah. This you have to do at the time of creation only you can choose it, that JDBC. But if you don't do that, you have a choice to get that starter. You, you can manage that, uh, you can write the starter. That's it. It will take care of all the JDBC support things. So that's what. Summing would starter for JPA, uh, Spring Boot starter for other things we have. So many things we have. Are you getting me, Jyoti? Yeah. Okay. Spring Boot. Uh, uh, what do you say? Uh, starter cache we have and MongoDB support. Okay. So there are many, many, uh, uh, many starters we have. So, so this will be different purposes. But internally, when you say automatically, when you are creating a project at that time itself, they are embedding uh, these things, the starters also. So we don't need to do that. So you should make sure if you create that type of project, you'll be getting to know whether that uh, starter is added or not. Are you getting me? Yes. Mm -hmm. That's it. Okay. So here we're working with the Spring Boot. Spring Boot on top of Spring, we have a Spring Boot technology which makes us, uh, which provides us some starters so that uh, I don't need to configure uh, the supporting jar files. That's the main task it is providing us. Simplifies. Starter web will come from here. Yesterday I didn't discuss. We I've lost.
Hello, Jyoti, can Hello. you hear me? Yes. Hello. Hello. I don't can know Jyoti. So, hello. Yeah. yeah. I have a problem with my system. Okay. When I move my system little, little here and there, the wire I'm directly connecting, I don't have a rotor. Okay. So it's, it's gone. Now I'm connecting with my hotspot. I don't know what happened. Immediately I've connected with also. Uh, hotspot. Yeah. So we were talking about uh, the Spring Boot, uh, right? Spring mm -hmm. Boot. What it will be coming? It will be coming uh, REST and MBC, all the things uh, as an internally. So apart from that, he is telling that there are some starters which are available. Spring Boot starter. This is if you want to work with a basic application. This is Spring Boot starter. But when you say Spring Boot web what and all has come when I say web means uh, it is giving uh, the starter support and also test support and also and also web support. Can you see Spring Boot web Spring Boot uh, 
test hmm. starter as a parent so there are a couple of uh, this is parent okay so that means all the under the parent uh, there are sub starters will be coming so all the things test boot uh, test web and parent all these things are uh, it is going to add for my project in the form.xml so when you say it also reduces the build the dependency count. The Spring Boot Starter Web transitively depends on the following. What are those? Starter, Tomcat, Validations, Data Bind, Web, WebMC. It has a dependency on all these things. So by default, the Spring Boot Starter Web contains the following Tomcat server depends by default. What does it contain? It contains this dependence. So that means I don't need to add it additionally. Are you getting me, Jyoti? Hmm? Hello. Um, yeah. But in this also, I so feel like we are adding up everything in the dependency. I'm sorry. In this also, I feel we are only manually adding all the dependencies, and then it is pulling like Maven. No, we are not. Where did we add uh, the Tomcat server to the application? Did we add the server? No. Did we add the restful server? Yeah, for restful only we are adding up all the No, board. we didn't add. But it's not running, right? So I thought we missed up something. Hello. Spring Boot started. Jyoti, are you understanding? Yeah. Hello. Hello. Jyoti. Yeah. So it is providing servers also for us. Tomcat server. Internal it is available. Jetty server also available. The Spring Boot also supports embedded server called Jetty server. Jetty server. If that is not available by default, here is telling that when I say WebMVC, these are all the uh, these are all the things which are available. Tomcat validations transitively depends on the Spring Starter Web depends on the following: Jackson Data Bind, Web, okay, validation, Tomcat. These are all available, so we don't need to add them additionally. Okay, it will take care of. So, but sometimes uh, web jars for managing static dependencies. Sometimes if you want to add any, any additional things, you can you have to add the dependencies. That's what he is saying. Remember, while using the Jetty server in the application, make sure that the Tomcat uh, server is excluded. So you have to exclude. OK. Exclusion. Exclude the Tomcat server. And you have to go for, what is that? Jetty. By default, uh, Tomcat server will be there, Jyoti. So in that case, what we have to do, we have to exclude that. That means you are going to know you are not going to use it. So then you have to add this dependency. First, to make the existing uh, Tomcat server uh, exclude under the exclude. Mm -hmm. But default, it is available for me. You can see that dependency, right? When you see that dependency means, where is that Tomcat? Tomcat, Tomcat. Where is that Tomcat? We can see somewhere else. Where you can go and stay.
Jyoti, are you there? Yeah. Sorry, broken between. No, the spring. What did you understand, Jyoti? What what your what your understandability on this? So Tomcat is already there, so that is why we are not putting it in the dependency. But when you are trying to use uh, Jetty, uh, the Tomcat is also coming, so we might need to explicitly specify, you know, exclude the Tomcat from the dependency, and then use Jetty. Hello, Jyoti. Yeah. 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 Can you? So you you understood right what I'm trying to say? Mm -hmm. Just a minute. Mm -hmm. Please be on the line. Mm -hmm. I'll try to connect my this one network. Got connected now. It's fine. Oh, I should have just so yeah, when you say Spring Web internally, it uh, it will be adding the dependencies. What are those dependencies, Jyoti? Starter, Tomcat, validation. Jackson data bind and web value it's there web MVC support all these things will be internally will be added we don't need to say anything okay. it has a dependence it is adding but uh, if you want to change the server so if you are using jetty server in that case what we are going to use is we are going to say the dependency we have to use the dependency is bring a boot Boot the starter jetty. That's what we have to use it. So this is application wise what we have to configure. That's what we have discussed. Okay. Now, mm -hmm. what does this guy say? Yes, there is an application he has given it seems. Let's see what is that application under throw example. Under throw example why? Jetty example under the Jetty, we don't need it. What is this? Let's have a look. projects with create hmm. spring boot start no no no, no. spring boot projects online something like that 
create the process over here. Control right. Extract them. Extract here. So, under two example, it says main Java com controller hello controller. Let's import this project to our application to our STS. One moment. Marvin project only know that is Marvin project. Spring boot result start a parent the under two server. Okay. It's using some other server that is under two servers. So for that, what we are doing, we are making, excluding the uh, the web server. Okay, Jyoti. We are adding additionally the server. Hmm? Okay. So let's let's see. I've taken the same program from there. Com dot Java T point. This is my application main application, and this is my controller. Now what I'll do is I'll run this directly. As I think has finished, right? Any voting is pending? Nothing, I guess. Nothing. So we can run this. Uh, run this. Uh, run as Spring Boot. What did it say? Yeah, this come out out starting. Mm. 
I'm also getting this thing down in the console, but the browser is not open. What are you getting, Jyoti? You are getting the same? Yeah, I'm also getting started, but the web browser is not getting opened up on its own. So I am uh, explicitly typing it out and going there and it is saying me white label error. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's saying me white label error. White label error. What is the URI it has given for us? Uh, Started on the port number under two. I've given uh, port number. Ah, uh, here it is on uh, 8586. Eight, eight, okay. So, so you can go to web browser and also type localhost 8585. Eight, eight. Mm -hmm. What happened to this? Yeah, yeah. Why should I close the window? Okay, this one. My system is not responding. <laughs> the other thing. But we have done any mistake, no, right? Come on. Local host, if I move my system, I can, okay. Local host. 8585. I'm sorry, 80. 8585. Eight, Eight five eight five slash hello world. Let's see what it will say on the top server. Uh, right label error that you are getting right. The same, yeah, thing. same, yeah. Server mm -hmm. so started. Okay, now one moment. Mm, what is your application name, Jyoti? Uh, hello world. Our class name, our class name is Spring oh, hello Boot. controller. No, I guess we have to give hello controller. No, we have to give the class name or project name. No, we may have n number of projects. Me, YouTube video they were giving hello controller as the thing. Okay, fine. I'll... Hello, controllers is your class. I used to get the link also. Where I used to get the link? That link I used to open actually. Mm -hmm. Even On... I was uh, <laughs> I was trying to find the link. I don't know where the link is. Let's see. Spring Boot Undertow Server, we will write and see. Spring Dash Boot. Spring Boot under top server. What is that? You are giving the controller or? 
what which name do you want hello 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 who's the only one here why now we have to see nothing happened type not found status 404 404 we are getting uh, uh that is not able to found how come under two server <laughs> okay i don't need to give the application name maybe <laughs> local host oh, where is my thing you uh, we are giving which name we are giving the controller name right in the mm. controller whatever path name we have given mm. Ah, uh, correct. I forgot. See, we are working with the post uh, restable services. No need to give the project name. If you know, it's already in the server. Just uh, you need to give the URL. That's it. URI. Okay. If it yes. is your complete, just we, need, we we don't need to give the complete application name. Okay. Oh my God! It's still not working for me. Just a minute, control S. Let me save it once again back. I am, um, I've done the changes. Let me go there. Let me refresh it. Now the application need to be restarted. I'm with Undertow server saying, okay. What we do is no it was server one hundred was server. I have to already it's running right. So no questions. And spring boot configure And last two. In the dependency, what did we change? One minute, Jyoti. Mm -hmm. Dependency we didn't change anything. That will also we'll see one moment. Okay. That's the rest based one, so we don't need that. Started. Okay, it's running. Can't expire. Okay, well, let's go there. Let's give a look. Under two servers. Okay, where's my inventory? Is it double slash compulsory? No, not required. Okay, Jati. Jati, are you okay? Hello? Yeah, yeah you. 
Yeah. I just don't know what modifications we made at last. Nothing we have done. Where is our application Spring app on, right? It was yesterday's application, I think. Yeah. Uh, com dot example. Not this one. Spring app one. Where I have created uh, app Spring one. REST app one. Like something. Uh, this is my application. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I this guess is the one, fun. right? Mm. And no, we'll stop this one, and I'll run this one, and let's see. Okay, I've stopped this. Now let me run my. Spring app one application. Come on. Run as Spring Boot Java application also. You can run it. Spring Boot app also. Because. Okay. It started and which port we have to check out. Started? Yeah, started nine zero nine nine. Nine nine and let's go over there. And what is our uh, that one? Hello world. Uh, what is that? Jyoti? Hello only, no? Uh hello world. I have to see once. Nine zero nine nine. What is that name I have given? Hello? I call world. Hello, hi, we are you are Jyoti. Oh, one second. I'm just trying out, man. Why is mine not working? 9090 port. 9090 hello world. It is still saying me the same error. Where you are finding the error in the console? White level error. Console, Sorry. I'm not getting any error. It is saying uh, completed initialization. And Tomcat is also started. I'm sorry? Tomcat is started, completed initialization. Share me your screen, Jyoti. Oh, OK. Can you make me the presenter? Hello? Yeah, can you make me the presenter? Hello, Jyoti, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Network issue. Jyoti, can you hear me? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, uh, you, you're getting the point here. We have a port number, right? Yeah, I'm getting You're getting port. this one? Yeah. You're getting that? Uh -huh. Yeah. Then if you're getting, then obviously you have to get it compulsory here. So, local host. 99 colon 99 forward slashes that's it okay Jyoti. Jyoti, are you there yeah Hello? can you make me the presenter i can share you the screen Thank you as a presenter. Thank you. Where I have to remote control. Your theory. You have shared keyboard and mouse control. No, no, no. Jyoti, where is it? Your theory. Here, just a minute. I'm making you. Stop sharing. I'm not here. Please. Options. I'm not able to click on your you have controls. Okay. 
will give a keyboard make presenter okay that's a presenter change you got that access now yes Okay. Yeah, it was saying nine zero nine zero. Just a minute. Request mapping uh, path equals to hello mapping. Yeah. Request mapping, get mapping. Okay, fine. No problem. No, 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 no. Controller. Controller is controller. Hello world. That's fine. Perfect. No, no, no. Show me your code once again. And here, uh, what we have uh where is uh that running thing uh uh where it is showing tomcat started 9090 only no mm. it's showing right mm. that why what is the problem okay okay server port number 9090 correct only that's correct if it wouldn't have started, it wouldn't have given that. Return hello world. You have copied and pasted it, right? That's it, right? Which one? Hello world. Pass name, third name. Where we have? Hello world controller. Where is that uh, this uh, Spring Boot application? Where is that your main class? Your main class. You did something here. Uh -oh. This is no. It, it is coming as a test thing? class. Uh, where is that SRC main Java? Why SRC main Java? Test Java, not the Jyoti. You have to go for main Java. Sorry, this one, not that one. This one. Uh, yes, this one is my main class. Okay, and here you just create the application. Okay. In the test file, you have created that file. Whatever your uh, other uh, class is there, no Hello World controller that you have created there. Move it to Java, main Java. Are you getting me? You are asking me to move this controller to here, yes. right? Yes. Stop your server and run that oh, application. Oh, it, it ran, it ran. You got it? it? Okay. Yeah. That's all the thing. Yeah, we'll see tomorrow. Hmm? Okay. Oh, what will be going over right, tomorrow? So I can. Yeah. Postman, uh, just try for it. What is Postman? How to configure that? Before okay. that, in the restful service, you got an idea about the Spring Boot, right? Now. Yeah. What is Spring? Boot? Mm -hmm. There are starters and where it will configure automatically Maven also. So mm -hmm. that's what we have. So for that we have they have given different different starters. When you say web, uh, there will be embedded uh, things will be coming. Spring Boot uh, introduction to oh, we'll see once back. Uh, introduction to RESTful Web Services get and uh, we have seen these things. We didn't use the complete RESTful services. We have seen 
just uh, we are getting a simple resource ensuring restful web services project spring boot uh, we have done that some simple project after restful web services this is what we have done right test and uh, hello world class and uh, uh, this is what we have done now i have a bean class this bean class should return me a format in the form of json so that means first i need to create a bean class hmm? that bean class hello world bin creating it creating it and you are going to call that bean over here this text should be printed as hello world so launch the browser the class object no that is to do that what we are doing to string format message equal to hello world b generate a to string we are generating a to string for that that's okay there is nothing configuration display spring boot configuration enhancing hello world with parameter implementing a post method we have these things left over so we'll be working on one by one one by one okay. implementing delete so get we have seen now after that we have uh, enhancing hello world service with a path variable okay we have something called uh, next uh, annotation at path variable we have get to mapping we have seen and mm -hmm. the at path mm -hmm. variable is there path, path we are going variable. to give the path for that directly okay we have to see no path variable path path annotation we are specifying what is it hello world uh, path we have already used it Pa passing a path variable mm hello -hmm. world path variable name there are so many annotations they'll be adding this case path variable we are going to pass some variable and that variable we are going to read it whatever the variable we are passing it we are going to read it the browser what we are passing you know that variable i would like to read it it is called path variable path variable path variable means path variable and the value you are going to set it at the time of calling okay this value we are going to use it that's it okay we'll see you jyoti and okay. i hope you got an idea hmm? yeah yeah restful services means it doesn't need uh, if your application is working on that explicitly how do you call by using four methods get to post to update get to post to put to delete that's mm -hmm. restful services is not related to spring boot or spring it is separate part it might be okay. servlets also if your application servlet application is running in the server i want to access particular method data can i access yes i can access but here we are seeing Servlet with the REST API example, if I say, let's say an example. What I'll do, I'll create a servlet class. I have some method, okay, service method. In the service method, I have written some logic. Now I want to get that logic in my browser window. What I have to do, I want to get that resource. Okay, so we, have, we will, uh, we have to give some path and all, and we'll be getting. This is an example for your restful services with the servlet system for getting an idea jackson yeah, as it is a, a spring not a spring only servlets you need to add additionally all the things you need to add plugins okay okay come jersey first okay there is some class create first restful web service get the path jersey first class at get i have to write manual this at the get what it has to get it at produce produce means what it has to return what type of text it has to return all these things are we have to configure this is previous versions but in the latest versions we don't need these things we are not going to see any parameters all that there are so many things hello jersey to see a simple message i have to write this many things Create a REST client, REST service client, client who is going to access it. 
you know i'll discuss more uh, tomorrow jyoti huh? okay okay sure okay i'll see you tomorrow yeah thank you